A little over a year ago, I actually was hospitalized. I was sitting in a the movie theater and my knee swelled up on me. And I went to the doctor and they pulled, they drained it, and they told me that I had some type of infection. I thought it was gonna be something I could fix quick, but long story short, I ended up in the hospital. Doctors ran all kind of tests on me. They couldn't figure out what it was. Uh, they called me a house case. I don't know if you watched that show, House, but I was a house case. Uh, I had 10 different doctors that was coming in, working on me. I had inflammation on my lungs, inflammation on my liver, uh, basically running fevers of 108, landing me in ICU. They didn't even know if I was gonna live. The last time, oh, this is a four month span. The last time I was actually in the hospital, you know, I'm sitting there late at night. You can't get any sleep. Listen to my gospels. I asked God, I said, Lord, why can't they find out what's wrong with me? I mean, I've been in ICU. I've, they told me they don't know if I'm going to make it. And I, I promise you, as clear as day, I, I could hear a voice tell me, they're not going to find it because it's not man-made. At that point, I knew it was a spiritual attack. He also let me know why my career in football ended at the height of my career. Because if he wouldn't have helped a, a simple injury that should have been something that was a routine and I should have been able to come back into my whole career. But I love football so much that I wouldn't have quit. So he allowed things to happen to put me in a position to do the things that he wanted me to do. Because it came back to my remembrance of the agreement that I, uh, you know, I asked him. I said, Lord, if I was able to play football and if I can do some television work, I promise after that, I promise you, if you let me experience that, that I will do the things you want me to do to serve you. And this is what he put on my heart. This is what he, he, he gave me to put on paper, to build. And it's not, I didn't create it. I'm just a vessel that's used to put it on paper, to create it. And that's what GSP is. It's an organization that will build the kingdom. And that's what we're here for. And through building the kingdom, we'll create financial freedom for all our members. That's GSP in the making. It's not an organization, it's a movement.